it's June and I'm here to show you how to make these adorable potion earrings that I've made. So I'm going to go ahead and pan down to the workspace, which is a little messy from these ones, so don't mind the glitter. We're going to need some supplies for this and a lot of these supplies that you can actually get at the dollar store. So we're going to need these potion bottles that we bought here at the dollar store and we're going to need some glitter be careful it can bust open and we're going to need some tape i just bought some washi tape at the dollar store we're going to need some paper a pair of scissors some maj posh and a paintbrush we're also going to need a little earring hooks, jump rings, and glass. You're either going to need some wire or two of these earring pins. And then just to make our lives easier, we're going to use a safety pin as well. Now for specialty tools, you're going to need some pliers. I have wire cutters, rose, rosary pliers, or rounded nose pliers, and normal pliers. Now if you just have the normal pliers with the wire cutting in the back, you can also just use those. And I'll show you how to do the part that you need the rosary pliers with the other type of pliers as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and put all this stuff over here. We're going to start off with making our funnel. in half, cut a nice little triangle, and then go ahead and twist, roll your triangle into a funnel. You're going to take that washi tape. You can use scotch tape too, it's just, I like the washi tape. And you're going to go ahead and tape the funnel shut. I'm going to trim the top a little to make it even. And then I'm going to cut the bottom at a diagonal. And then we have a little funnel. And now we're going to pick our glitter, and I think I really like the white, so we're going to go ahead and use the white. So I already have the white open. So we're going to go ahead and pour this in. I have a piece of paper down so you guys can see what I'm doing better, but I highly recommend you putting a scrap piece of paper down so that way you have easier cleanup. So now we have our little bottles full of glitter. They kind of look like little milk jugs. They're super cute. Maybe uh, we can pretend like they're cute little milk things. So next comes the part where we're going to make these go on to these. So we're going to take that safety pin that I showed you earlier and we're going to find the top fatter part that's going to sit on top outside of our bottle and hold that down. We're going to find about the center and then stab it all the way through. I find it easy to work on a table so I can put it down and put the cork onto it so I'm less likely to injure myself. Now when you're first learning how to do this, I'm still not good at it. You're going to stab diagonal 
just re-stab it and get it as straight as you possibly can. So once I have that, I now have a little tunnel made to make it easier for this to go through. So I'm going to find where that hole was. And I'm just going to push this through. And now it's a little cork bead. And now I'm going to do it again with the other one. Again, sorry about the glitter. It's messy, but it's fun. And then I'm going to pull that out. Close it up so I don't hurt myself. And the reason you stab it through before is so that way you don't have the wire bending like that when you're trying to put the earring post pin through. Okay, so I got that through and it's got a nice little hoop loop on it already so it's not going to go anywhere. So we're going to go ahead and put our jump rings on our earring hooks really quick to prepare for these to go on there. So, if you buy jump rings at Joann's or any craft store, usually they come kind of pre-opened a little. Um, this one's really small, so let me grab one of my bigger ones so you guys can see what I mean. So, they typically come a little opened if you can't see it's still really hard to see on these small ones the camera does not want to focus on it but they come a little open they're usually like this a little and so you want to open it all the way so you can close it back up so how i open up my jump rings is i usually pinch them with my needle nose pliers and then I take another pair of pliers and I twist them open. And then once I have it open, I can then put it on the earring. And then pinch and twist it closed again. And then I like to put the needle nose pliers on the part where the wires meet up completing the jump ring and pinch it a little flat. It helps keep the jump ring more secure so it doesn't open back up. Now, if you only had one pair of pliers, you could also, as long as it's soft, malleable wire, I, I suggest looking for that, um, open it up with your finger. And then hold it with your fingers and pinch it close with your pliers. Okay, so now that we have those ready, we're going to trim these because we don't want our earrings to be this long. And how I always measure is I pinch it real close to the cork and I trim off that wire so I have that. And then I repeat. And then I usually keep the wire clippings for another project. And then I'm going to grab the ro uh, rosary pliers. For this next part, I'll show you how to do it with the rosary pliers. And then I'll show you how to do it with the normal pliers. So you're going to go ahead and pinch the top. Get the very tip. And then you're going to rotate in. And then ro unpinch, rotate your pliers out to the bottom of your circle that you made. So you see that? You're going to be pinching here and you're going to pinch and twist back so you create a little bit of an indent. And then you're going to go 
back in again and back until you have a little loop that looks like the one that was on the bottom. So if you don't have these, that's how you would make that if you were using a wire. So that was how to do it with the rosary pliers. So if you only had normal pliers, it's gonna be a little bit more square and jagged, but it still works. So you're gonna go ahead and pinch at the top again and twist in all the way down and then twist back and then usually I have to twist it in again because it's really malleable wire. So I have a little like captain hook hook there. So we're going to go ahead and take it and hook it on that jump ring that we just closed up. And the reason we put jump rings on there instead of just putting it on the earring hook is it lays nicer and it looks better when it's finished. You're going to go ahead and pinch your little loop closed with that jump ring inside of it. So you've got that nice and closed. We'll go ahead and do this one. Link it in there. Pinch it closed. Okay, so that's both of those are done. Now you could if you stop here if you wanted and just have cute little cork earrings. Okay, so the next part's gonna be gluing these shut. So you're gonna go ahead and take a cork and paint it with the Maj Paj on the bottom the sides and even the top. Maj Paj dries clear so it doesn't really matter if you get it all over the cork. I'd highly suggest painting the entire cork and once you have a good coating on there you're just gonna plunge it in there And then take a paper towel and clean it up a little and then set it off to dry. Go ahead and paint the other one. And now we'll clean this one up a little. Okay. And now we'll leave these to dry overnight. And then we'll, I usually hand wash the hooks afterwards in the sink just by rubbing a little bit of hand soap on them just to make sure I get all the glue off. And then once they're dry, you'll have little potion bottle earrings like these that you can wear.